Hi guys and welcome to Tectum UB. This video is all about my desk PC and doing a bit of an upgrade. Um, you've probably not seen it over the last few months because besides the, the monitor configuration changing around, I really haven't done too much to it. It's generally just been a fairly mostly reliable workhorse for me, so that's all good. But um, this video is specifically, you know, new year, new PC, uh, and more specifically, um, I want to throw in this uh, one terabyte WD Black NVMe drive um, because my 240 gig SATA SSD isn't too slow it's just too full so uh, swapping that one in for a bit more space but I thought while I'm swapping that in and because this is a fresh OS on here I thought I may as well go with a uh, bit of a refresh on the, the motherboard CPU and RAM as well so uh, keeping the 1080 that's in there for graphics but otherwise we're swapping to an x470 gaming 7 motherboard from Gigabyte uh, Ryzen 2700 and then we're going to push it a little bit or at least as far as the air cooler that I'm using uh, will let us and then also some Vengeance Pro RGB um, because why not? Because uh, it's still a 32 gig kit, it's 3000 megahertz, and it's uh, plenty shiny. So let's uh, let's jump into getting the build done, and then uh, kind of go from there. So that is it built. Um, in terms of uh, the setup, of course, the cooler is definitely a, uh, a bit of a janky position there, but um, it seems to be working fine. Temperatures, the, the uh, 40, uh, 2700 is currently overclocked to 4 gigahertz. I think I can push that to 4.1 or even maybe 4.2, depending on stability, uh, because the current temperatures are 40 degrees uh, at idle, about 50 degrees under gaming load, and then I think about 60 degrees for, for rendering and higher CPU utilization applications. So that's pretty awesome. I'm also really happy with the obviously storage space upgrade, which is kind of the main upgrade here. But also as a side note, the RGB RAM is actually working at 3000 megahertz, all four dims, which is awesome. And I'm very happy with that. So uh, yeah, overall, just a nice little kind of bump up the, the RAM that I had before, despite being uh, quite our uh, 3000 megahertz kit, uh, was only able to run at 2800. So uh, that plus the extra clock speed bump uh, where the 1700X was running at 3.8 gigahertz this is already running at four uh, with pretty decent temperatures so again very happy with that and it's actually pretty quiet as well of course i do need to still install some of the bits of software especially uh, gigabytes rgb stuff and corsair link to kind of control all of it but otherwise that's kind of that really um of course feel free to let me know what you think of the the build the upgrade and all that sort of stuff in the comments down below um, there's definitely plenty that i know is wrong with this setup or at the very least that that could be improved so um feel free to to remind me of those on a regular basis um but otherwise yeah let me know what you think um would you be interested in doing a desk build like this yourself um obviously i did a full video on yeah or full series and video on making this so if you're interested feel free to take a look at that 
that. Of course, if you want to support the channel, if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And of course, plenty of other links in the description down below. There's Patreon if you want to support me directly. And thank you to all of you awesome patrons who already do. There's Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links. So if you're spending any of that nice Christmas money, uh, then feel free to uh, use those links uh, if you are, as it genuinely helps me, but doesn't cost you anything. No, that's kind of it. There's plenty of other videos over there. Mm, thanks for watching. Hope you had a good New Year and Christmas time and all that jazz, and we'll see you all in the next video.